mtazamaji wa Mpenja TV bila shaka hujambo na tumai kwamba hali yako iko vizuri kabisa. Karibu sana. Leo tumebahatika kumtembelea kiungo wa kimataifa raia wa Zambia ambaye anakipiga katika klabu ya soka ya Simba ambao ni mabingwa mara nne mfululizo wa ligi kuu ya soka nchini Tanzania bara. Cleotas Chota Chama, Mwamba wa Lusaka, Triple C, fundi wa mpira huyu. Tuko naye hapa na tutazungumza naye mengi kweli kweli. Mimi ni mwamuzi wakati naitwa Oscar Nixon Nkembo na nyuma ya kamera yupo Albert Mlingo yuko pia Asha Kabuga pamoja na King Mweta. Karibu sana ukae karibu na Mpenja TV ili tuweze kufahamu mambo mengi kutoka kwa fundi huyu wa mpira. Chama vipi ndugu yangu? Poa vipi mjomba? Safi uko vizuri. Niko vizuri sana. Unaendeleaje? Salama. Uh, tunashukuru sana kwanza kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani kwako. Karibu, karibu tena. Shukrani. Una, 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 unazungumza Kiswahili kidogo. Ah kidogo kidogo na, naweza kuzungumza. Watu waki hawawezi kukusema unaelewa. Amna um, amna. Um, <laughs> hawawezi. Hawawezi. <laughs> Kwa hiyo hata mkiwa camp eh wakiwa okay, wanapiga piga story unajua ah bwana hawa anazungumzia hiki. Ndiyo, ndiyo. Akuelewa <laughs> niko vizuri. <laughs> yes, uh, na natamani kufahamu chama. Tunajua kwamba uh, una, 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 unafanya vizuri sana na umekuwa ukifanya vizuri tokio umefika Tanzania. Jina maarufu zaidi ambalo linatajwa juu yako ni Mwamba wa Lusaka. Na kuna baadhi ya watu wana wengine pia wanapenda kukuita Triple C na kadhalika na ambalo jina ambalo linazungumzwa zaidi ni la mwamba wa Lusaka na kuna watu wanadhania pengine ulizaliwa Lusaka tuambie vipi uli ni sehemu ambayo ulizaliwa hapana uh, mimi nimezaliwa Mfrira Copa Belt ndio huko nimezaliwa na Lusaka ni na mara nyingi na natembelea na, na tukule kwa sababu familia nyingine wengine wapo pale kama baba sasa hivi yupo pale kaka yangu familia yake ipo pale na kuna muda nimecheza Lusaka Dynamos ndio hivyo tu lakini sio kwamba mimi mtu wa kutoka Lusaka hapana na hisi ni kwa sababu Lusaka ndio capital city ya Zambia na obviously watu wengi wanaifahamu Lusaka kuliko Copa Belt kuliko hizi same nyingine Okay for your opinion do you think why people have opted to call you Mwamba Lusaka and how do you feel to be nicknamed as Mwamba Lusaka Ah uh, you know nicknames are how it is it's uh, always nice when uh, the nicknames are coming from people and uh, that nickname is, uh, is somehow unique you know it has some zambian in it which is uh, which is okay and uh, it, i did some research to know what mwamba means it, uh, i was told it means uh, the rock and obviously the rock uh, even in ancient times you see the bible talks about the rock of refuge and all so it has no problem with me and uh, I've welcomed the name and um, I'm okay with it other people obviously like you said they prefer calling me Triposi because of my names Cletus Chamachota and uh, it's all it goes on like that so there are so many nicknames but like you have said that one has stood out and uh, I have no problem with it why did you choose playing football and not other games? Well, football has just been always uh, in our family, I would say, in our blood, because my dad used to play soccer, though he didn't play maybe in the Zambian Super League and the, in the national team, but he's a footballer, a very good one, by the way. So from there, we have uh, our first born in the family who's a man. He's a footballer also. He played for the likes of Green Buffaloes for a short time. And uh, he's known in Zambia as a footballer. Right now he's a coach. Then the second born is a lady who doesn't know anything about football apart from being a good supporter. Then the third born is a guy. He's also a footballer. He's currently playing for Zesco United. And then I'm the fourth who's a footballer also, you see. So it has always been running in our blood, I think. So it wasn't a big uh, issue for me to decide whether to play any other sport apart from football. Yeah. Okay. And do you think uh, is that's a, the fact of being called as Chama Junior? Uh, yeah, because uh, dad is, dad's name is uh, Chama Cletus. 
and um, Cletus also. So, so it is automatic. Uh, we, we, we consider that as junior and senior. So he's the senior, I'm the junior. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. And did the inspiration of playing football come from family or is there other people outside who influenced you? Well, to be honest, I think it came from family. And then there's also some influences uh, around uh, and uh, aside from the family. Uh, when I was young, I used to go with dad whenever he had uh, a game to play or whenever he went for training, I used to go there with him, carry his boots, carry his bag, you know. And also it developed from there also, I used to watch my brother play, who was my older brother. And uh, it came to, to time when I also started playing there and uh, then uh, when I was so young, uh, around, uh, I think I was uh, seven, you know, yeah. And I, I would like to know also, Triple C, from what age did you start learning, learning playing football? Uh, football, well, it's, been a, it's been a while, it's been a while. I think uh, in grade one, I, I started playing football here and there. You know, you play football obviously outside the, field, outside the, the house. You can play football inside the house sometimes. But uh, those days, I think the houses were not big and spacious like uh, these uh, houses we are seeing right now. So mostly we'd just play outside maybe at school and all those things. Otherwise, I started football way back when I was in grade one and uh, seven years old. There are some of players started their career straight from academy. You are among of them? Uh, not really, not really. My football started so much on, uh, at school. Yeah, I remember when I was in grade five, I was chosen as the captain of the young team. And then my brother was in grade nine, then was the captain on the elder side. So I've just been to one academy, which is uh, by the name of Mutende Football Academy, that's in Wapula. I played there for some few years, and then I moved to Zesco. Yeah. And in your football career, did you really want to be attacking midfielder? And have you ever played in other positions? Ah, sometimes just, I have played in other positions sometimes. I remember at Zesco one time the coach used me as a number two, but uh, obviously it wasn't uh, <laughs> in a real game, so it was a, it was a friendly. Then uh, when I was young, sometimes I would prefer being a goalkeeper, you know. And uh, apart from that also, there were times where you are considered to be the eldest, so the young ones, when they are playing, they ask you to say, ah, no, you can only play in the goal. Yeah, so you go in the goal keeping position and you play, you enjoy like that because football is meant to enjoy, you know. Otherwise, uh, me choosing to be an attacking midfielder wasn't really a tough decision also because uh, dad was an attacking midfielder. Yeah, then uh, my two brothers are defenders. So it makes it fun when you are playing as an attacking midfielder and your brothers are defenders, you know. Sometimes uh, we, we played uh, alongside my, my, my brother at Mtende Football Academy. So you would be on the other side and you are on the other side. So it's, uh, it's interesting. At one point he was captain for Green Buffaloes uh, in the Zambian Super League and I was captain for Lusaka Dynamos. Uh, we also played against each other like that. You know, so if I was a defender, he is a defender, it would be somehow boring, you know, just uh, seeing him from afar. But as a midfielder, you see him close and you get to be marked by him, you get to dribble him, it makes it fun also. So when you played in, in those other, other positions, how was your performance? As usual. <laughs> As usual, you know, you, you try your best, you know, like I said. Uh, football is about enjoying, so when you're given a position, you try to enjoy. And as obviously, the enjoyment will be different here and there, but the real fact is you're supposed to, to enjoy, so that you don't see it as punishment, you know? Since you were in Zambia, you always showed the best performance, and people tell you one of the best talent players in sub Saharan country. What makes Chama to be the best? Well, there is nothing unique. There is nothing that uh, anyone can't, uh, can't have or do, I would say. Uh, for me, once I realized that football is my career, 
I tried to dedicate myself to it in one way or the other, knowing that it is paying me back also, you know? Uh, I'll give you an example. I'm here right now in Tanzania. It's because of football. Uh, uh, it's because of football I've traveled uh, around the world, you know? Uh, so I dedicated myself and knew that uh, I needed to give my best at all time and at all cost. So I think that uh, helped me to, to somehow stand up, stand out. And also I believe in training, you know? I believe in training. So anytime I enter into training, I always want to give my best. Because it's from training, that's where you get uh, the picture, the clear picture of how the game is going to be. You know, so when you are lazy in training, you can't expect to have a good game, a good match. When that day comes, you'll be failing to, to, to do what is supposed to do. But when you do well in training, you stand a better chance to do well in the match, you know. And then uh, apart from that, uh, I've played also with uh, footballers who are so talented. And uh, I took time to learn from them. That also is so helpful to me and uh, to my career because uh, I appreciated their talent. Obviously, someone is also going to appreciate my talent, you know, things like that. This also can go out to just life itself, you know. You, if you're on your way up, obviously it's because there are people who are up there already. So the easiest way is where you need to appreciate those people who are up there and don't think like they just came out of the blues and they were on top. So you need to go closer to them. You ask them, you get to chat with them, you know. You ask them how did they make it, what makes them stand out, how do they prefer to play, you know, what's their style of play, what makes their game easy, what uh, the difficulties that they are facing in a match. So as you talk, you are also learning and uh, you are also getting to adapt. You are also knowing how to come out of certain situations because you are being told, to, you are speaking to someone who's already there, who's experienced. Apart from that, it's appreciation, like I said. You have to appreciate those people. You don't have to have any bad feelings towards their success. Yeah. Yeah. Chama, I'm sure that there are many people who supported you in your career. But who is your champion? Do you think who supported you the most? I think that uh, that stands out, you know. When I was in grade 9, uh, it was quite difficult for me to to balance football and school. So I remember uh we were staying at a uh, place where it was like 5 minutes uh, 10 minutes maximum walking to the to the school where there was a, a the pitch where we used to train so it was quite near uh, so any time you could be in training most of the time you could be in training sometimes you could even be in the morning at training instead of being in class and all but all you know it came down to a time when after we wrote our exams in grade 9 I passed I was going now to grade 10 we went to grade 10, and uh, school now was very far. Walking from home to school was about 45 minutes walking, you know? So from there again, you understand when you knock off around 16, you have to walk, it will be 17.45. Where are you going to play? There is nowhere. So it was difficult, such that I planned to stop school and just concentrate on football. At times, I would leave home and say, I'm going to school just to be around, you know, near the pitch, you know. And uh, there came a time when I said, uh, Dad, I want to stop school. I want to concentrate on football, you know. And then he sat me down. He advised me. He told me ways that are, are so important and meaningful to me, you know. He did mention to me about the importance of school and how life turns out. Sometimes you never know. Sometimes you think, Football is going to be your source of income. Football is going to be part of you always. But you never know what God plans. So hence comes the school part. I think even the, the thinking of someone who has been at school 
and someone who has completely not been at school is, uh, is a little bit different, you know. We learn a lot of things at school. It's not just about mathematics and all. There is a lot of things. So he helped me balance up between school and football. And that's where he stands out. As much as there are people who advised me, who influenced me, who really, really helped me, but he stands out because at that point, it was crucial for me. You know, imagine if I didn't go to grade 10 and 11 and 12. It wasn't going to be nice for my career also and for myself also, also for him, because he planned my life also to say, okay, as the father, I'm going to do ABCD, you know. But uh, he stands out in such a way that he, he advised me and I balanced up and it has worked uh, very well for me, thanks to him. <laughs> and who is the sports icon that has influenced you the most? It can be in Zambia or other place in the world. Ah, growing up, I uh, had so many people, charisma, a lot of people to look forward to, you know. Uh, yes, uh, there is also another player by the name of Nkoshi Mwale, who was uh, from Zambia. By then he was living in Rwapula, so I used to, to follow him, he was a great, great midfielder, that one. And then... Uh, came in Messi now, you know, now we are growing up, so we know these guys. Ah, those are the people that have been influencing me, and uh, a lot more, a lot more. Uh, we have another player by the name of Mebin Mwaba, he's Zambian, he's also a midfielder. Yeah, so a lot, a lot. Okay, Mwamba Lusaka, can you tell us the difference between Zambia Premier League and Tanzania Premier League? Uh, that one, uh, if you allow me, let me answer it in this way. Uh. When I was coming to Simba, the first uh, time I came to Simba, the first time I came to sign for Simba, uh, I was in a situation where I was supposed to leave Lusaka Dynamos because of some contractual situations. And uh, when this offer came that uh, Simba has, uh, has scouted me and they want to sign me, it came as a shock because by then I didn't follow uh, Tanzanian football. But then, you need to understand, before then, we had uh, come to Tanzania to play against Simba. I think it was on Simba Day. If I'm not mistaken, it was 20, 2014, should be. Between 2014 or 2013, we played against Simba on Simba Day. It was Zesco against Simba Day, and I remember that match, we won 3-0. I even scored the first goal, it was a penalty. Apart from that, I also had uh, known Azam, Azam FC, because we met in uh, Congo, where we had the four teams tournament. It was Azam, Zesco, Don Bosco, and TP Mazembe. Yeah. So when the offer came to sign for Simba, it was quite uh, tricky, you know. How are you going to go in the league where you you don't know you don't know how it is how it is run you don't know maybe the fields you don't know other teams and all you know so I asked my brother by then because he was uh, close to me my elder brother Adrian Chama so when I asked him and I showed him like okay this is what is on the table so he said ah, you've been complaining about uh, things not going well at Lusaka Dynamos give it a try. You know, so I said, ah, okay, but then let us look at the league. What can we do? Do you think the league is as competitive as Zambian league? Do you think it's a good platform for me? He said, ah, honestly, uh, I don't know much about uh, Tanzanian football, so. But uh, what is the situation? What uh, is the position for Simba? So I realized by then Simba has just won the league. So I said, ah, okay, Simba playing. Champions League, ah, that was my motivation now. Uh. So I didn't care so much about Tanzanian League by then. I was so much interested about getting back in the Champions League because I came from Zesco where we played Champions League for three seasons. And then when I moved to Egypt, then later on switched to Lusaka Dynamos, I stayed for one year, six months without playing Confederation or Champions League. So when I saw Simba is in the position to play Champions League, I took advantage, you know. I knew that there is going to be competition in the Champions League. So I took the opportunity to come here 
And I started learning how the league is. So to answer your question, for me, to be honest, the scale where I can rate Zambian Super League and uh, Tanzanian NBC League, yeah. uh, there is no much difference. There is no much difference. I'll tell you something which you need to understand, you people. Uh, Tanzanian League is growing vastly, fastly, and a very good pace, you know. I've been here from 2018 up to now, and I've seen the development, I've seen the changes, I've seen the development not only in Simba, but also in other clubs, you know. So you need to understand that for the league to grow as much as to go to number one, right now the first uh, league is in Morocco now, Botola is number one. So it requires a lot. With respect, huh? with respect, I'll tell you to say the money that Simba are putting in the league, the money that Azam are putting in the league, the money that Yanga are putting in the league is not as much as the money that is being circulated or invested when you talk of Mbea Kwanza, you know, when you talk of Kagera. It's different. And that's where people need to understand. You don't expect Kagera Sugar to put or invest as much as Simba. You don't need Biashara to invest as much as Yanga and all those. It goes on to, to the last, you know. And this is everywhere. You go to England, there are big teams that are putting in a lot of money, Manchester United, for example. But you can't expect Manchester United to have the same budget with Leeds. You know, and that's where now we come down. How are the pitches? How are the leagues? Uh, the, the 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 standard of the fields? Most of the time, I would prefer playing in Mkapa because the pitch is nice. You know, the pitch is nice. You can do anything with the ball and all. But when you go to Mbeya, when you go to other towns, you find that even the game plan has to change. You know, even your mentality just when you are going or just when you see that the next fixture is this, you have to change your mentality. So those are the challenges that we are facing in the Tanzanian League. Otherwise, when you talk of uh, the differences, we also have to touch the part that uh, uh, Zambian Super League is being televised on Super Sport, while NBC is on Azam TV. Yeah? So there is a a difference also because super sport a lot of countries have super sport you know but uh, azam not all the countries have azam you know so you find that in zambia a few people maybe follow zambian super, uh, tanzanian league because of the limitation of where to find the games how to find the uh, information and all oh. otherwise the difference is not as uh, big as people make it because uh, i see a lot of talks on Instagram, Facebook, hey, Tanzanian League is the Farmers League and all. It's, it's somehow interesting and funny, you know, where someone says it's a Farmers League, but every time he's following it up, you know. Then there's something, <laughs> is it? Yeah. I think so, there's something. And at the end of the day, we play football. Or maybe in the Farmers League, do we play Farmers? Or Maze, they don't play Maze there. We play football, it's football. We play according to the same rules and all. As much as it's not as big as it is, as we would want it to be, don't you want the Tanzanian League also to be as big as the, the English Premier League? You see? So we are in the process, and uh, for me, I take this advantage, and uh, I appreciate God that I'm part of the growth of the, the NBC. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you play football, you make it easy, and fans always enjoy What's the secret behind your skills and ability? Oh, there, is no, <laughs> there is no secret, so to say. There is no secret, so to say. You know, uh, when you talk of unique, you obviously understand that we all are unique. You know, you in your career, you do things differently. There is also another person who do things differently. So even the competition and the comparisons between Messi and Ronaldo, 
comes in because of how Messi does things different and how Ronaldo does things different, you know. But all in all, they are all footballers. And uh, instead of just looking at the uniqueness and all, oh, we tend to look at a lot of things, you know, how they coordinate in the team, what are their strengths, is it when they have the ball or when they do not have the ball? Okay, when he has the ball, what does he do? How much does he help the team when he has the ball? And how much does he help the team when he doesn't have the ball? And it goes on like that. So for me, there's nothing that is to be called a secret, but it's the uniqueness of how I play, I think. If I may give you an example on the previous match against Biashara, there was this pass coming from Sako, and I realized there was a defender coming, you know. Many players maybe would have wanted me to hit a first shot, but I decided to take another touch, you know. So when this guy goes now down, I realize again, okay, there's another defender who's making so much effort here, you know. Yeah. So if I'm not careful, I might just hit the ball and it hits him. And then who's, again, in the end, it will be like I made a mistake a mistake and I also lost a chance to, to score. So why not relax, you know? I think maybe if you have to say what is unique about me, I think it's how cool I am on the ball, you know? How cool I am on the ball because I realize if I'm not cool on the ball, then I'll make fast decisions which I won't also be just comfortable, you know? So I want to be as cool as possible. Well, bearing in mind that there are people who are defending, or bearing in mind that there is time that needs to be taken advantage of, and there is maybe an attack which I need also to be part of. So that plays a, a big part, you know. Umezumzia hapo kusiana na hiyo style yako ya namna ambavyo unacheza chama. Mara nyingi ukiwa unalikaribia box kama uko upande wa kushoto huwa una, una feint kuleta mpira kwenye mguu wa kulia na baadaye kufanya maamuzi ya, ya kuchagua engo ya kuplace na kufunga goli. Mguu wa kulia ndio silaha yako kubwa zaidi au kwa nini mara nyingi staili yako ni kufaint? Ah uh, mimi mguu wa kulia ndio natumia mara nyingi. Ah uh, naamini na sana mguu <laughs> wa kulia. Lakini kama swali yako hiyo kuna kuwa muda moja hivi unaona ndio na nahisi ni lazima mchezaji wote aweze ku a a a, a afanye mpango vile sijui kwa Kiswahili lakini awe comfortable kutumia miguu zote mbi, mbili kwa sababu sometimes unaona gua kulia washa kubana inakuwaje kama hivi nimesema ile cross ya sako imekuja ya biashara ile mechi imekuja kutoka kulia na huyu jamaa ame slide huku kulia kusha asha bana umeona ameziba kwa hiyo nimefikiria nilete kushoto lakini miguu zote naweza kutumia lakini natumia mara nyingi wa kulia na naamini sana mguu wa kulia lakini una, una, ukiona mechi nyingine ziliyopita sometimes unaweza ku, kuona labda unafunga magoli zaidi ku, kushoto kwa sababu ya hiyo faint umeona na sio kwamba si ni lazima a uh -uh. lakini labda yule defender ameshakujua kwamba huyu anatumia mguu wa kulia mara nyingi kwa hiyo ana concentrate kubana mguu wa kulia kulia na ikipatikana nafasi ya kufunga na mguu wa kulia unafunga lakini ukiona huyu jamaa ananibana ananibana huko wa kulia lazima umlete huko kushoto na unafunga hivyo hivyo apiga bao ndio <laughs> Uh, since you joined Simba during summer transfer in 2018, you are like a king and you have created your own world, sex footballer, ever to bless in our land. What are the reasons behind? Why have you succeeded much in Tanzania than other place, Chama? Uh, you say in other places, huh? <laughs> Oh God. Uh, I beg to, to to give you the right information when you ask like that, yeah? Or maybe your question can be rephrased in a different way. When you talk of succeeding, I bet 
in the Zambian league, I've succeeded. I've played there. And uh, when I played for Zesco from 2014, 2015, and 2016, we were champions in the league. We also got uh, the Parkless Cup, I think, three times. <clears throat> so I'm quite successful also there. I think he, talking like this is, uh, is, uh, is somehow a 50-50 situation. But maybe one day you get a chance to see the medals and then I show you, okay, this is what we did in 2014. This is what happened in 2015. This is what happened in 2016. My main success in Zambia remains in 2016 when uh, we, Zesco, as a team went to finish uh, on position number three in the Champions League, and that means in Africa. And then uh, when you talk of uh, Tanzania, I think I have not succeeded just alone. No, uh, it depends on Simba mostly. You know, Simba is growing, like I've said, and uh, it's growing in a good pace. So when I came here, there were things that were not as they are now, and it's about adapting, you know. So when I see there is a change, I need to adapt. Where I see there is no change, I need to adapt. And then it helps us also grow. It's life, you know. A seven-year-old boy can't be thinking like a 20-year-old boy. So we have to be moving. And where necessary, we need to adapt. And where it's not necessary, we need to, cha to change, you know. So the success we're talking about, carries a lot of things now. You can talk of uh, uh, my move when I went to Morocco, when I went to Egypt. When I went to Egypt, it was contractual issues. When I went to Morocco, there was something that uh, played a bigger part of, uh, I needed to be close to my family. And uh, this I don't expect you. I don't expect uh, people who are listening to understand. Because at the end of the day, I am the member of the family and you are not. I'm the father. Mimi ndiyo ba, ndiyo baba. Na amua mimi. Sio wewe uja hapa unambia fanya hivi, fanya hivi, hiyo haiwezekani. Unaweza kunishauri, lakini maramwisho mimi nafanya maamuzi. Kwa hiyo mimi success yangu, sio yangu tu pekee. Team nzima ipo na wachezaji wote marafiki wangu wakina Jonas, wakina Erasto, wakina Wawa, wote wapo, umeona. Wale watu kama hawako wazuri, mimi si, siwezi na mimi kuwa mzu, kuwa mzuri. Kwa hiyo na, na mini ni collective success, success, umeona. Lakini, badai kuna swali moja, ni kuulize kwamba, naona kama wawa, wawa nafanya kazi kubwa sana. Lakini badai watu wanaangalia tu nani amefunga. Hawezi kuangalia sana nani amekaba vizuri nini umeona. Na hapo ndiyo mpira watu wanatakiwa ajue mpira iko vipi. Najua kama weo kiwa labda scout at a agent. Unatakiwa ujue kwamba bear striker ipo juu. Bea defender ipo chini. Bea midfielder ipo juu kwa sababu gani ni kazi waniofanya pale wanjani. Lakini success ni timu nzima tu. Sidhani hata si, siwone, siwone mwenyeo kama watu wanzungumzie kwamba chama 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 lakini simba iko chini kabisa. Apo, si, I think it's not good and it's not even fair if you think of it, you know. So it's uh, a balanced thing. Chama, 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 ah, simba, simba, simba. So, ah, Jonas, Jonas, Jonas. So now it's, uh, it becomes a collective thing and uh, that's uh, very nice and interesting. I think success, when you're succeeding alone, then it, there's nothing that you are doing. It's like in a family also, if you alone you are successful, you find that it will be like burden on your shoulders every time people want to look at you. You see, eh? my brother now, Barakampenja, has this TV. He has brought in you. He has brought in the cameraman, you know. At the end of the day, he's going to make you also success, you know. And when together you are successful, you make now bigger, bigger things. You'll be the next super sport, who knows.
<laughs> so teamwork is better and uh, succeeding as a team or as a family is much better, you know, than just one person. Umegusia hapo swala la la, la familia ya chama kwamba familia ndio ime 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 imefanya ufanye maamuzi ya, ya mwisho kutoka Morocco na kurejea. Kuna watu wanajiuliza pengine familia yako, watoto wako wapi? Wako Tanzania ama wako Zambia ili waweze kufahamu pia kwenye hili? Ah sawa sawa. Ah uh, Kiswahili Kiswahili jamani. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Situmetoka bekani hapa eh, last week, eh, ndiyo yeah. tumerudi. Yeah. Mm, na isi, saivi watu wo, nikisema bekani imekuwa mbali kwangu. Na isi wale wachezaji tumeenda nao, wanaweza kuambia kwa mba kweli. Bekani ni mba, ni mbali. Na ukiona ile move ya kwangu, mimi sijafanya research sana kwamba bekani tauni iko wapi aya shule ziko hivi za watoto uh, maisha pale bekani yapo vi, vipi umeona nimefanya tu research ndogo na mimi nimeshaamua kwamba aya ni mtoke niende kwa sababu gani nimekuwa nataka nifanye challenge nyingi nyingine umeona kwa hiyo pale nimefika nimeona ah mbali mbali umeona na baadaye nimeshakaa pale 2 months hivi nimeangalia hata mimi nikikwambia nikitoka Zambia lusaka hiyo napanda ndege pale naenda na lala Dubai from Dubai natoka naenda nafika Casablanca from Casablanca pale nafika 15 hours hivi your next flight inakuwa 23 hours. 23 hours hiyo ndege ukichukua aende Bekani. Unaenda unafika Ujda. Kitoka Ujda ndio unasafiri na gari unaenda nyumbani. Nyumbani mimi nimekuwa nakaa Saidia. Hapo natumia labda siku tatu hivi. Unafika nyumbani 07. Mazoezi yapo hapo hapo. Baadaye wale team wako professional kabisa na kuambia hawezi kulazimisha eh njo mazoezi nini na hata unaenda hiyo mazoezi wanakuambia tu ukimbie kidogo kidogo kwa sababu washajua umetoka mba mbali wamekuwa wanasaidia sana lakini kwangu mimi nimekuwa nafikiria familia familia kama mtoto wangu wa mwisho ipo na miaka 5 5 anaweza kusafiri hivyo Na badai, nimesema nikienda kule, mamuzi yangu ya mekua nilete familia kali, karibu. Wahanze shule pale pale. Badai kule, mifanya research, boss wa kule ya menisaidia vizuri. Mifanya research, pale shule zipo, bekani, nisio saidia, zipo bekani. Na hizo shule, wanafundisha ni Arabic na French. Na jamani, ukiona, mtoto unamwanzisha french na arabic after 3 years unatoka tena moroko unarudi zambia au unarudi tena tanzania hiyo arabic hiyo french ataipeleka wapi ni ya nini umeona ndio hapo nimeamua kwamba labda nirudi tanzania na nikipata nafasi ya kurudi tanzania kwa sababu sio kwamba tu Kama ni timu yako au ni timu ya baba yako tu ah mimi narudi Tanzania kweli tuseme ukweli tuseme ukweli si wamesajili wachezaji wengine pale tumetoka umeona mm, mm. nao wamekuwa wanacheza kwa hiyo hata mimi pale nimekuwa nafikiria ah nirudi Zambia au nirudi Tanzania haya <laughs> labda ni jaribu nirudi Tanzania Tanzania kwa hiyo nimeshaanza kuzungumza na hao watu viongozi Kuna uwezo kano, naweza, unanitaka, vipi, umeona vile. Badai wameniambia, haya, unaweza kukuja. Na ayo maswari kama hiyo swari yako, ndiyo swari wamekua na wenye wananiuliza, ata mwenye wanimejuuliza kwamba, nikirudi Tanzania, familia itakuwa wapi. Kwa hiyo swari yako, familia ipo hapa. Na yusi ni muda tu, hapa wapona shule, wanaenda shu, 
shule umeona kwa hiyo mimi kwangu napenda sana hivyo kwa sababu mimi nimeangalia kwamba nikiwa karibu na familia nitakuwa na furaha umeona haina mazoezini mara nyingi nikitoka uwanjani vile na wakuta hapo chini wananisubiri ah burudani nyingine unataka unataka nini nyingine <laughs> mimi niko fresh we ongea mambo yako hayo tu ah mimi niko fresh nakwambia kabisa eh. na wale watu wanakuwa wanaongea mambo yao hayo waache tu mimi hapa hapa Tanzania nitafurahia nitafurahia zaidi tena na hisi ningekuwa na furaha kama Morrison hivi mm. ah ingependeza sana <laughs> ingependeza sana <laughs> umemtaja Morrison hapo chama Morrison ni mtu wa namna gani? Yaani umekuwa naye karibu kwa muda mrefu. Ni mtu wa namna gani nje ya sura ambayo si tunaifahamu? Maana jana tu hapa alikuwa anawatakia wakina mama siku yao ya, ya, ya duniani na akakutaga wewe na na Captain Boko. Ah <laughs> uh, Morrison please let me put this in English <laughs> but uh, I'll try to maybe just mix with Swahili. Yeah because uh, i might not be comfortable when we are talking about uh, a very sensitive matter here uh first of all you need to understand morrison is a player who is a big player in africa yeah as much as uh, he has set up this other picture or this other image to people and others have decided not to take him serious me i take him very serious I myself I take him very serious because I'm close to him we share the same apartment when we were in camp not in the same room but the same apartment and I've seen how he handles or does his things is unique in his kind of play is unique in his kind of thinking is unique in how he reasons with other situations in the other things is a good person and he, he likes to smile which is so important in life you know and he, he tries by all means to mingle and bring everyone together not those people who are like are boasting and oh if you talk of morrison's cv and my cv morrison's cv is higher you know if i'm not mistaken yeah so i give him respect in those areas and uh, i learn a lot from him you know we tom, we normally talk ah morrison what do you think about this situation ah this game what is your take you know how do we approach this okay the game is like this now tufanyia japa sometimes unaona hata uwanjani kule kuna kwa muda mwingine tunakuwa pamoja wa timu mechi inaendelea mnajiita wenyewe vile ah jamani tufanyie japa anakuwa anaweka nani pale nani advise na yeye si advise mbaya Mwenye na advisor na kuwa na kuambia kitu mui, muhimu. Iyo uh, nani happy women's day hiyo. <laughs> ah, Badai ni mejuliza mimi kwa nga. Meona tagi. Ah, lakini kwa nini mimi na, 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 na boko. Na ah. Ah mwoni so ni bani. Ni, ni mambu ya mpira. Kama ni mekuambia hivyo. Sometimes natakua to fry. Na kitu kingine tunatakiwa tujue sisi ni watu tu sio kwamba ukiwa mtu mkubwa mtu mzima mtu watu wanakuwa na kuangalia ni ubadilike ah hiyo itakuharibia wewe mwenyewe uwe hivyo unavyo fanya fanya umeona lakini baadaye kuna do's and don'ts hapo ndio unatakiwa ufanye balance don't ni don't na the do's you have to do them you know so what he did is not bad it's fun and he enjoys doing things that makes him happy which is more important important otherwise morrison is a good person is a he knows what uh, how to play football he knows what is required of him most of the time when he's called upon he does wonders in the field and which is good yeah unadhani hiyo hali ya morrison kuhitaji kuwa na furaha muda mwingi inamsaidia kwenye performance yake kwa nzuri uwanjani ndio ndio uh, tuko watu wa tofauti sana umeona kama 
siku ya mechi hivi kuna watu wanapenda tu yeye yeah, asikilize music tu kwa so, mara nyingi ataki kuwa kwa kuchanganya na watu vile mwenyewe tu unakuta watu washanyunywa na nani ile headset ile kubwa kabisa hivi anataka ki play music yake mwacheni tu hivyo na kuna watu wengine wanapenda kelele tu mwingine anakuja tu na speaker yako yake anaweka hata kwenye dressing room hivyo umeona na wengine wanataka maybe labda kusali mara nyingi anaweza na feature hivi anasali kuna watu kama afanye hivyo atachanganye na watu ye ajapata furaha hawezi kuche kucheza ndio hivyo Morrison alivyo hata mimi kwangu tu uh, match day kama si si sipate furaha kabla ya match if i'm not happy before the match then i know the match is not going to be a nice one so most of the time you see me even when i'm doing home up i'll be talking to someone you know i'll be making jokes we'll be talking even maybe something not attached to the game you know but sometimes most of the time you see me doing home up mostly if jonas mkude is playing i do home up with jonas because sometimes me and jonas jonas will be speaking swahili i'll be speaking zambia you know there is no understanding properly but look at the fan umeona anakuambia kiswahili unamwambia ki kiruga yako kizambia na yeye kwa hiyo na yeye anajiuliza we unasemaje eh umeona na wewe unamwambia ah iwe tekanya tekanya ni tulie tulia umeona baadaye ukitoka pale mazoezi kupasha manani home up ndio naenda kumwambia nimekuwa nakwambia hivi jamani ah tulia na mpira ofanya hivi umeona baadaye kazi iendelee ndio hivyo tu sawa na wakati tunagusia swala la la, la bekane kumekuwa there are rumors that you did it fit with western african football the style especially the issue of speed and other says the issue of environment not sweet as you explained before and also others are go so far that you have misunderstanding with the head coach for lai benge <laughs> Jamani naomba mpira hiyo hapo jamani. Asante. Ah kaka. Mm. Tuanzie na swali ya misunderstanding na coach. Yeah. Unajua tuwe makini. Tuwe makini na mambo ya kuongea ongea tu kocha yule kocha mzuri sana kocha mzuri sana kabisa nimekuwa na muda mwingine nikisoma comment hivi labda amemchukua chama kwa sababu amekuwa na wafunga S Vita kwa hiyo ana asira na e, vipi nini amna hata hapa hapa nikimupigia simu atajibu hata wewe hapa utashangaa ah, chama ndio mnaongea na kocha ule wa bekani wa amekuwa kocha wako umeshatoka nini umeona mm. yule kocha umekuwa muda moja hivi nipo pale bekani nimemwambia kocha mimi nafikiria nitoke hapa bekani kwa sababu ya hivi na hivi na hivi ni shauri umeona amekuja kule uwanjani tume tumezungumza hivi mambo mengi sana ah umeona chama mimi kama eh ah mimi nimeleta familia ipo pale ujda wewe hawezi kuileta familia hivi na kocha mm, mimi watoto wako wadogo sana kwa hiyo wakija hata pale bekani itakuwa shida kidogo lakini baadaye unaniambia kwamba niwalete pale ujda na ujda iko mbali na saida umeona kwa hiyo kumekuwa hayo mambo na mimi na kocha tuko marafiki sana kama inawezekana kwa sababu najua wa Tanzania walivyo kama inawezekana eh, ah? kama inawezekana ningependa sana tapale wakija hapa bekani wanipe nafasi niende nimtembelee tuongee kwa sababu kule nimemtafuta uh, imekuwa shida kwa sababu amekuwa anatoka ameenda uh, meeting press, press briefing kwa hiyo sijazungumza na yeye kule umeona lakini kocha yule mimi kwangu ni baba yangu rafiki yangu na amna tatizo yoyote umeona 
hii namba yake hapa haiti WhatsApp. Umeona labda yupo offline. <coughs> Lakini hata nikwambie ni mtu mmoja hata ile mechi ya baada ya mechi ya AS Vita hapa tumecheza mimi nipigia umeiona je mechi nimemwambia mimi nimeona hivi 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 mambo haya haya vile umeona yeah. mm-hmm. kwa hiyo swali lako kuhusu coach mimi na coach tuko vizuri sa? sana na kabla sijafanya maamuzi kwamba ni rudi nimekuwa natakiwa niongee na yeye ni mshikishe na yeye anishauri kwa hiyo tumekuwa tunaendea moja kwa moja siku nyingine ndio nakwambia kwamba yule ni mtu mzuri sana siku nyingine amenifuata kutoka huko Ujda kufika wa Saidia sio karibu amenifuata paka nyumbani kwangu Saidia tumekaa na yeye hivi tu tunaonge naongea kama baba na mtoto ndio maisha mazuri wengi makocha hawafanye vile umeona kwa hiyo hiyo swala mimi sina shida yoyo, yoyote kuhusu star of play star of play speed speed nini nyingine anilo tu haya mm. kwa hiyo tuanzie swali moja mm. mimi pale bekani au sio nimejipeleka mwenyewe au wale watu kuna kitu wamekiona ndio wamesema atumlete au sio haya yeah. kuhusu speed kuna mambo mengi kwa sababu ukiona Liverpool wanacheza speed football counter attack hivi ukiona Barcelona wanacheza possession lakini hiyo possession hawana speed wana speed kuna muda wana speed kuna muda wanaweka mpira wanache wanacheza possession umeona kwa hiyo kuhusu speed tunatakiwa tujue hii timu hata coach huyu anapenda vipi anapenda nini umeona so hata coach ameona kwamba ah, chama kija huku bekan atanisaidia na abcd umeona na ndio maana nipigia simu chama na kutaka unaweza kuja huku vipi nini nini tufanye tu, tu, umeona ah uh, hiyo speed mimi kwangu naona kama ni ni, ni story kubwa hatuwezi kuizungumza tu speed labda unasema speed lakini bekan wenyewe wapendi speed umeona wenyewe wanapenda cheza position kwa hiyo hauwezi wewe kuniambia tu speed usha umekuwa unapata shida au nini lakini kule viwanja vao vizuri sana na lazima mpira inatembea kwa hiyo ni style of play kama leo coach anasema jamani leo nataka tucheze speed sio mtu ufanya adaptation unatakiwa ufanye adapt hapa ni speed tunacheza speed ni hivi na hivi na hivi umeona kitu kingine kuhusu mpira najua speed kwa pawi like two side mpande mbili mpande mbili au si mm. kuna namna una receive mpira goli iko huku nyuma yako unaweka nyuma yako kwenye goli na mnashambulia huku au si mm. kwa hiyo ukichukua mpira hapa si lazima uanze kugeuka umeona vile na kuna speed lazima wakikupa mpira unamwachia kama huyu kameraman hapa anaangalia sio yeye anaangalia kwa hiyo unamwachia one na wewe unageuka na wewe unaanza kuangalia huku sio speed hiyo ni speed au si na kuna namna unachukua mpira sio lazima ufesi hii nyuma yako upande wa goli kwa sababu ushajua ukireceive hapa nyuma iko huku lazima uchukue tachi tatu mbili geuka kwa hiyo lazima unaanza kuchange position labda ah haya nichukue mpira isha face hivi kwa hiyo hapa akinipa mpira nachukua touch moja na angalia hiyo na yeye ni speed ni speed lakini nishajua mambo haya mpira hiyo ni ya kwangu wengine wana yao vile unajua au si kingine umesema kwamba nini mpata shida kuhusu hali au nini? Yeah, mazingira hali ya hewa. Hali ya hewa kule sio mbaya, ni baridi ye, iko tofauti kidogo, eh, iko tofauti kidogo na hapa. Lakini hayo mambo sio sio kwamba ni lazima ndio ya nifanyie maamuzi kwamba ah mazingira ni hivi ni hivi. Ah, hata hapa Tanzania kuna muda mvua ikinyesha sana. Mm. Si inabadilika kidogo 
hapo niseme ya kisha kuwa baridi Tanzania nirudi Zambia au vipa au rudi Morocco tena au sio hamna eh. shida ha? kwa hiyo hayo mambo mengine mambo mengi sana na unajua hii mpira hii kuizungumzia hii kiraisi sana kama unavyocheza wewe kuizungumzia hii mpira mm. kiraisi sana yani rais kama wewe unavyocheza wewe si unafanya mpira unaonekana rais nakwambia ku eh jamani jamani kumbe kumbe chama na wewe huwa unaona mpira mgumu ukiwa unaucheza maana sisi tunakuangalia tunaona una mambo yako yanaenda kiurahisi sana <laughs> ah, mpira kaka sio rais kwa, kwa ukweli sio rais kwa ukweli tu lakini una mahitaji mengi una mahitaji mengi na ukielewa kwamba mahitaji ya mpira ni hivi ndio utakuwa rais umeona kama maisha tu kama maisha tu mengine haya mimi kwangu nasema hivi tuna maisha na lakini mpira ina maisha yakwa ya kwake peke yake kwa sababu kwenye maisha tuna vitu tunaweza kufanya na vitu hatuwezi kufanya kuna yes kuna no na mpira hii ina yes ina no umeona kwa hiyo pira sio rahisi tu kura rahisi kuzungumza lakini wakikupa nafasi na wewe ucheza inakuwa kidogo unapata shida umeona kwa hiyo tuheshime tu mimi kwangu nasema tu mpira tunatakiwa tuheshime na baadaye si tupo duniani hapa kuna propaganda unajua kama nyewe mmenifuata hapa kufanya interview kama nataka nitengeneze tu ma followers nisha, nitaanza kuongea tu kuhusu tu watu wanifuatilie mimi kutengeneza followers labda au watu wanipende tu kwa hiyo siwezi kusema ukweli nitaanza kuzunguza hivyo watu wanataka kusikiliza umeona na watu wana akili unajua hivi watu wana akili hapa duniani mm, kaka watu wana akili nikwambia hata example au si happy women's day umeona happy women's day ile siku wote tumejua kwamba watu wengi watasikia hivi wataona hivi wataandika ma happy women's day hivi au si Morrison amebadilisha mitagi watu wanaume sio akili hiyo umeona watu wana akili umeona kwa hiyo na hata mpira hii tuheshime na mimi kwangu najua sasa hivi tupo maisha ukipata followers wengi utakuwa na ma endorsement manini lakini baadaye ah, si baadaye challenge hapa hata si, si, si tu, tu, tuingie mbinguni mm. Waona kaa hapa kama utakuwa hapa hapa tu. Hapa tunapita. Kwa hiyo lazima tuongee ukweli. Lazima tuwe watu. You know, watu. Tu, tuwe watu wa ukweli. Kwa ukweli tu tunasema ukweli. Ukweli ah, hapa ni hivi, hapa ni hivi. Sio kwamba pa, kwa sababu watu wanataka wa, wasikilize hivi. Na mimi niongee hivi. Umeona? Kwa hiyo hapo ah, mimi kwangu tushauri tu ya watu wote ukiwa na nafasi kama hivi hivi unajua hapa hapa naweza kukuua we hapa hapa <laughs> ah <laughs> maisha sasa hivi yeah. ah, technology kaka mm. sio nichukue tu ni nani gani futi mm, bunduki sio hili nini bunduki eh sio lazima tu nichukue bunduki au kisu ni ku hapa uh-uh, naweza hapa ha unamwaga sumu hapa hey, eh hey, eh hey. kumwagia na kumwagia hapa baadaye lakini baadaye unataka ujiulize kwa sababu gani unachukua nini na baadaye Mungu anakuo anakuona na wewe nikikuu nikikupa hiyo sumu mimi nitakuwa na life ya moyo wangu na moyo wako hapo kwa hiyo nikichukua nika hapa nakupa sumu wewe umekufa nachukua moyo wako wa kwangu kiisha anachukua wa kwako na weka tena naanza upya haiwezekani <laughs> tupendane tu na yeah. tuheshimiane tu sawa na ume, umezungumza vizuri sana chama natamani kusikia kutoka kwako kuna 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 tumegusia urahisi na ugumu wa mchezo wa mpira wa miguu wapo wadau ambao huwa wana baada ya mechi wanafanya uchambuzi analysis ya mechi kupitia 
microphone kama ulivyosema kupitia radio kupitia tv wewe binafsi huwa una, unafuatilia na pengine umeshai kukasirika kwamba huu mchambuzi amenichambuaje maana kumekuwa na vita hapo wachambuzi viongozi wa mpira na kadhalika ah, kweli hiyo swali nzuri sana na hiyo swali naisi inanipa nafasi kusaidia viongozi wachambuzi na wachezaji wenyewe umeona yes, kwa hiyo inagusa watu watatu wote tu, tu, tuanzie kwenye eneo la, 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 la wewe kama mchezaji baada ya mechi imeisha umerudi unawasikia una wachambuzi wanakuchambua ulivyokuwa unacheza kuna wakati umeshai kukwazika um, kwa ukweli ndio kumekuwa na wakati umejua mm, sometimes way back pale sio sasa hivi way back nimekuwa nakazika kwa sababu kuna vitu na naelewa na, na kwamba uh-uh, this is not fair umeona uh-uh, this is not fair okay so who's talking ah. this guy what is what is the problem ah. it's just crazy you know so it gets uh, to that point where you don't think it's fair you know and then when you grow up growing up is not just uh, by age but also understanding you know and through other research i have decided myself and i think i can give this advice to the players also after those who are chambuzi they say whatever be sure to make sure maybe you listen to what they are saying and get what is right and leave what is wrong wrong and if at all you feel what they are talking about is not fair you don't have to fight with them not at all not at all mara nyingi nina rafiki yangu hapa mara nyingi namtaja hivi instagram na yeye ananitaja hivi lakini mimi kwangu ni ma jokes tu kwa sababu nishamjua kwamba yeye ni hivi umeona <laughs> nani oscar oscar au nani nani oscar 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 mzee wa kalibu <laughs> baba mzungu <laughs> baba mzungu haya <laughs> 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 kwa hiyo yeye ni rafiki yangu yule jamaa sana mm. yeye mwenyewe ajui kwa sababu kile anayofanya anachofanya kinanisaidia mm. sana mentality psychologic life inanisaidia sana sana kwa hiyo na namuita rafiki yangu na aendelee tu Mungu amsaidie aendelee <laughs> anipe yule moyo moyoni unajua kwa sababu najifunza kwa yeye mm. sometimes unajiuliza oh kwa hiyo nikifanya hivi yeye anaona hivi oh okay haya sawa sawa umeona hivyo hivyo tu sio kwamba mimi nibadilike siwezi 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 unajua mambo mengine hata we wapo kuna vitu unaweza kufanya na vitu hauwezi na kuna vitu utafanya sio kwa sababu kwa wewe Mungu tu chama tumezungumzia mambo mengi sana we ni mchezaji wa kigeni ambaye umekuja Tanzania na unafanya vizuri ni mchezaji gani mwingine wa kigeni hapa Tanzania ambaye anakuvutia sana naweza akawa anacheza simba ama nje ya simba pia Uh, kuvutia ndio ni, ni, ni you love this is. style of play ah ah for now i think uh, we have a lot of uh, vast our players you know i think if you ask me about last season it would be so much easier for me to say who is but for now you see a lot of players who have come in they have different style of play so maybe on this one he has maybe the pace speed on this one he has the ability to think and do wonders on the ball and all those so for foreign players i think i would go for pape peter mm, those are attacking midfielders of course uh Apart from that I can talk about uh Saidon Timba Zonkis yeah he's playing good football 
Um, Aucho, I've not watched him so much, but uh, the few games that I've watched him, I think he's also good because I've also been yelling about him and all. And then um, talk of Maela, he's also doing good. He's doing good. Maela, he's doing good. Yeah. Na kwa, kwa, kwa upande wa mchizaji ambaye ni mzawa, mtanzania, ambaye pia unapenda na mna navocheza, haneza pia kuwa simba unji ya simba? Hapo kwanza wote wa simba wanacheza lizuli, wote tu. Wote. Ah, sana. Lakini tukenda huku ingine, kuna shua bo, shua bo the time was at uh, in Azam. Yeah, I think he was on his prime peak. I think uh, even in younger, maybe he'll do better because it's his first season and maybe he's just adapting. And then uh, face also. Don't know now if he's injured or what. But uh, he's a good player. He's doing very well in the league. Then he... Mostly, I know some players who are good, but uh, maybe I don't know their names. Yeah, but uh, for those that I feel I can talk about and I know their names, these are the names that I can give. Yeah. Let us talk about the game between Simba and Nkana Red Devils. You scored amazing goal. Goal yambalo limebaki kwenye vichu wa vya Simba kila siku. Mtu akilisikia vya kama mechi mechezo jana. Uli, 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 uli waza nini? Uli uona ule mpira? mazingira dakika zile at stoppage time unafunga goli uje utazama mpira ili kuaje kuaje na uliwezaje kuamua kufanya vile uh, tuanzie nyuma kidogo kwa ukweli au sio mm. mimi ndio nimeanzisha mpira pale yeah. haraka haraka na nimempa boko boko amempa dirunga kwa hiyo mimi imenirahisisha kidogo kwa sababu nimeanza kukimbia tu moja kwa moja uh, cha pili pale jirunga amekuwa amecross mpira mimi kwangu nimekuwa tu nafikiria ni guse tu mpira sijajua nitaigusa vipi au nini umeona lakini mimi kwangu najua tu nikigusa tu mpira kuna kitu kinatokea nikigusa tu simekuwa nafikiria nikigusa nitafunga a uh -uh. nikigusa mpira kuna kitu kinatokea kwa sababu mimi ndio nianzisha move kule nyu nyuma umeona mm. na mara nyingi kwenye mpira ukianzisha move kama vile unampa mtu upande wa cross mara nyingi na kukuta mpira unafunga mara nyingi uh, kwa hiyo ile touch ya kwangu imekuwa tu nafikiria tu iko iko tu sijamwona goalkeeper yuko wapi sijamwona kuna defender anakuja mimi kwangu tu nimefikiria tu ni uguse mpi, mpira baadaye nimeiona ile hata wewe uki play clip ile Unaona boko amekuwa na kimbia nyuma. Meona? Na kama nimekosa ile mpira, ingekuwaji. Kwa sababu, nige iluka tena kulu, kuyacha tu. Ipite, boko amekuwa na control, anafu, anafunga. Meona? Kwa hiyo ndiyo tunude nyuma hapa, nimekuambia kuna vitu naweza kufanya. Sio kwa sababu ya akili yako au kwa sababu ya uniqueness ya kwako au nini sometimes ni Mungu tu na ni Mungu tu tumu heshima na tumupe ile sifa zake kwa sababu hata mimi ukiona nimegusa mpira na kunamgua kushoto na kama angekuja defender wa Nkana ange because that defender was coming on my right side so it was now easy for me to lean on him and then touch the ball with my left leg. Otherwise, maybe I would have just fallen and people would have just thought, what was he trying to, to do? I mean, what was he trying to do? Lakini, everything works for the glory of God. So it happened in a way that things were, people were pressed just in the right positions and for us to see that uh, wonderful goal. Unadhani hili ndio goal bora? katika maisha yako yote ya mpira na kwa namna gani limebadilisha kariya yako ya football Ah mimi kwa kariya yangu ya mpira nafunga magori mengi kweli ya zuri kweli tu Lakini ile imekuwa unique kwa sababu kama hivyo nimekwambia kuna muda unafunga goli nzuri labda hii mechi ya biashara nikupe mm. eh, 
nisha nisha mpiga chenga huyu defender na nishajua kwamba ah goalkeeper huyo hapa defender mwingine huyo hapa naweka mpira ku kule umeiona lakini ile sijawahi sijafikiria kwamba nitaweka goalkeeper yupo hapa nani hapa mimi nimekuwa tu nafikiria tu nikigusa tu itaingi itaingia lakini ah. kuna magoli mengi zaidi ya ya, ya ile hata goli nimefunga ya nani ya vita. ya vita ukiona na yeye kumekuwa mtu nyuma yangu na goalkeeper yule ni goalkeeper mkubwa sana Afrika yeah. lakini nishapiga mpira hapa control sijamwangalia lakini nimekuwa najua tu huyu defender hapa amesimama ashambana yule goalkeeper angalie hawezi kuona ile mpira nisha sijaweka hata ngustatumia nguvu sana a uh-uh. Natumia tu akili kwamba hapa na huyu kuna mtu nyuma kule ah kwa hiyo hii nafasi ya ipo hapa umeona bii na kwenye ile goli ambayo uliwafunga nkana kuna maneno pale yakaibuka macho yako yanaona kama mimi macho yake yeye yule chama yanaona kama mimi haya ilikuwa ni maneno ya baraka mpenja rafiki yako karibu wakati anatangaza ile ile mechi wakati umekaa baadaye ulivyokuja kusikia yale maneno namna goli lilivyotangazwa lilitendewa haki lile goli itendewa haki ndio nini <laughs> <laughs> i mean the, the 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 level of commentary and the level of the goal on that tournament at the stoppage time do you think w- w- was it in the same level yeah yeah i think uh, the just like you have put it the commentary was nice the goal was nice the time itself was nice so everything at that particular moment was beautiful uh, a lot of people from zambia i would say a lot of people from zambia actually love barakampenja because of that particular goal you know he made it so beautiful i would say so beautiful you know just like he, him obviously behind the 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 camera he was amazed and you know this is where we want now to say there are times no matter how you hate a person no matter how you might have a bad heart or no matter how you wouldn't want to appreciate things there is a time when god's time is right you shall appreciate that person whether you like it or not if it is your voice you are going to use it you appreciate that person that person you see so we thank god for that otherwise yes it was <laughs> and you're going to face ars bekane on on sunday on the last game at bekane you lost 2-0 and he was not part of the game as you will be also on this ta- sunday's game maneno yako ni yapi kwa mashabiki wa Simba kuelekea mechi hii muhimu kabisa kwa klabu ya Simba Ah uh, mechi watu wengi wame wameiona ile I think kunyuma tumeenda kuna muda ule tumeenda Algeria ametupiga 3-0 na imekuwa 3-0 ile eh? yeah, 3-0 na tumeenda Egypt wali wametupiga 5-0 sasa hivi tumeenda Morocco wametupiga 2-0 na huyu ile nyingine tumeenda Ali wametupiga 1-0 mimi kwangu bado chaanza kuelewa namna ya kucheza tukienda nje umeona na na hisi we stand a chance to win and uh, i hope for the best we will win that game kwa wote wana simba mashabiki wa mpira mimi kwangu tunaomba tu wachitokeze we, waje wengi kama umeona kule kumekuwa mashabiki wengi kabisa naamini na sisi hapa tukitokeza uwanja mzima huu tu jaze uwanja tutasaidia sana kwa hiyo naomba washabiki mashabiki wote waje pale tuangalie mechi na mimi nitakuepo. Kwa mkapa atoki mtu. Atoki, hawezi. Eh? Hawezi, mm, lazima. <laughs> lazima I think because if we win the game it helps us so much so I think uh, all, all of us we know the importance of the match. 
and we have to give it all. We have to give it all so that we can get the three points. Tunamalizia. Chama unapenda chakula gani? Ugali. Ugali? Ugali. Hivi Zambia pia kuna ugali? Sana. Ah. Hey, ugali unapenda na mboga gani? Ah, uh, ya Afrika tu. Mm. Beans, maragi vile. Mm. Eh, nani uh, mboga za majani hivi nani mahitaji hapa matembele mm. uh, ya ile tu. <laughs> nje nje ya, ya mpira wa miguu unapenda muziki au movie mimi napenda muziki na movie hivyo eh, lakini napenda ku reading also kwa hiyo nafanya balance hapo tu sio mara nyingi utanikuta nafanya kitu kimoja tu labda mara nyingi anakuwa tu na book na read na changanya kuna muda sometimes na fanya reading kuna muda sometimes na angalia movie kuna muda na sikiliza music umeona kwa hiyo vote hivi vinaweka pamoja na kwa Tanzania ni msanii gani ambaye anakuvutia zaidi ah uh, si nani wewe nani si Diamond eh? <laughs> Diamond Mboso Mawasama yeah hao ndio watu na nawasikiliza music zao sana Unaweza kutaja baadhi ya ngoma zao ambazo zimebamba kweli? Ah uh, nyimbo kuzitaja sio shida lakini mimi kwangu kuna nyimbo napenda sana na hizi mara nyingi mara nyingi nikiwa tu na sikiliza music nataka ni spray kidogo. Mm. Kuna nyimbo ya Diamond ile inaenda you are the one i love i think ah. this yeah ile naipenda sana ile the one yeah yeah the one ile hata watoto hapa wangekuepo ukianza hivi utawasikiza wa wanaimba mm. eh hey, ama wasama mshaijua jamani mm. mshaijua aujui ipi eh ipi ah kaka we akupendwa ra <laughs> <laughs> Wewe si zuchu sasa? Asio ile. Hiyo ni zuchu hiyo lakini ama wasama ile kaka wewe. Ah, taito sijui ndio shida. Inaimbaje? Eh? Inaimbaje? Eh? Inaimbaje? Ah. <laughs> Ukumbuki? Ah, si kumbuki sasa hivi. Ah. Nakuachia tu lakini ipo kaka unaijua hata kwenye Instagram yangu ipo eh? Haitafute. Haitafute. Na, na ina, 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 ina imebamba sana si sana na mm-hmm. hata mwenyewe tu mawasama na voice nzuri anaimba vizuri anaimba vizuri sema kwamba hata hao wengine hawaimbi vizuri lakini kuna nyimbo hiyo naipenda kwa sababu inaongea ya kuhusu mapenzi hivi eh ndio hivyo na hisi na mimi nishapitia uh, ile nyimbo inakuwa kama ina ni inakugusa inagusa hivyo ah uh, so, na unapenda kucheza game FIFA. Mm. Ne nacheza hiyo hapo, hiyo hapo. Na nacheza mara nyingi hata tukiingia camp na mm. game. Sometimes nachukua hii, sometimes shawalala anakuja na kwake tunacheza game vile kama muda una una, una uruhusu tunacheza hiyo. Na huwa unawapiga sana. Ata Au nani huwa anakusumbua? Ah tunapigana tu lakini ah, shawalala na isi shawalala gadi na na nani boko na kapombe ah, na Aisha wanaweza kuambia na wapiga sana jamaa. Ya bwana mwamba Lusaka mimi nakushukuru sana. Asante. Shukrani sana kwa kutukaribisha na nimefurahi kuzungumza na wewe. Nashukuru sana. Asante. Ya bwana huyo ni Cleotas Chota Chama mwamba wa Lusaka Triple C. Tukifanya mazungumzo naye maalum kabisa na tumezungumza mengi na tumaini pia utakuwa umefurahi. Nikwambie kwamba Mpenja TV tunapewa nguvu kubwa na K4S. Security hawa ni mabingwa wa masuala ya ulinzi lakini pia uh, tunao Merere Sportswear hawa ni wauzaji uh, wa jezi original na wana print kwa bei nafuu kabisa. Wanapatikana uh, mtaa wa uh, maeneo ya Kariako pale. Kwa hiyo ukifika unapata jezi yako mambo inakuwa vizuri. Tuko pia na Rob Robi Sportswear hawa ni wauzaji wa raba na viatu vya aina zote. Wanapatikana Kariako jirani na Big Bone Shell pia ukiwaona inakuwa vizuri. Tuko pia na Vunja Bay hawa ni wauzaji na wasambazaji rasmi wa jezi za polisi Tanzania Tanzania Prisons na klabu ya soka ya Simba tuko pia na Fabulous Perfume hawa ndio wataalamu eh, wa manukato ukanda huu Afrika Mashariki na Kati ukihitaji kunukia vizuri unawaona Fabulous Perfume tuko pia na GF Trucks and Equipment Limited wauzaji wa malori aina ya 4 na mitambo mipesi aina ya XCMG endelea kukaa karibu na Mpenja TV usisahau kusubscribe 
zote kubwa kama hii uliyoipata leo unazipata kwetu pekee. Mimi ni mwamuzi wakati naitwa Oscar Nixon Nkembo. Nyuma ya kamera amekuepo Albert Mlingo, amekuepo pia Asha Kabuga bila kumsahau King Mweta. Shukran sana. Kibizi, umechukua simu yangu? Ah, bosi. Ah, vibaka mtau anatumia viwembe bwana. Mimi naogopa wataniumiza. Wewe unasema? Kune sana boss, chukua simu yako. Asante sana. Sisi ndio wale mashujaa unaotuhitaji K4A Security. Tuna ulinzi ofisini, tuna ulinzi kwenye viwanda, tuna ulinzi mpaka kwenye magodown na pia tuna ulinzi binafsi. Ma bodyguard wenye mafunzo, achana na hawachawa. Bila shaka kubwa na kazi hana. Tu shakosa kazi tena, acha kushangaa shangaa. Safi sana. K for a security. You are trusted security partners. Oshwa, embe shagali haraka.